What's going on everybody? On this week's episode of UD Best, I want to show you all how to create 3D topo lines from QJS and to get them into SketchUp so you have something that looks like this. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So here in QJS, I want to look at this really complex interchange over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull in one foot contour layers that I've already created. These are cropped from a larger model. And if you have questions on that, we can make another video about that in the future. Uh, just go ahead and request that below. So we're going to open up the attribute table here. And we're going to look at the elevation column to see what these heights are set at. Uh, and if you look, you can see that they're one foot spacing. It's good to know. We'll remember that for here in a second. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up the gearbox, which is the uh, processing toolbars. And it'll pop up on your right. We'll scroll down and look for vector geometry and then underneath that we'll look for set z value and then we will go ahead and set our layer to the topo layer we'll set our interval to one foot for one foot contours and then on the right we'll set our variable to the elevation column that we had earlier so click on elevation or whatever it might be called on yours and then we'll go ahead and click run and that populated pretty quickly um, now it will create a Z added layer automatically. This is just a scratch layer. We'll go ahead and double click on that and then we can save it out to our desktop somewhere. We'll make it a DXF file. Click on the three icons there. And we'll call it 3D contours, comma, one foot. We'll save that out. And this will probably take a little bit longer to save out. And then that'll replace that Z added. Next, we'll go ahead and open up SketchUp. We'll go to Import, find that file, 3D Contours. And then we'll go to Options. We'll change that from feet to inches, or inches to feet, rather. We'll go ahead and let that load. Close out of that. And then give it a second to load in. You might have to do a zoom extents. There's our file. Um, and that looks about right. Now one thing I always like to do is when I'm looking at this make sure everything came in properly and also grab the tape measure and then grab a couple of points and just make sure that our intervals are one foot. So we'll go ahead and lock on the blue axis by clicking vertical key, the arrow key up, and both those look pretty good. So that's how you do it. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if it was helpful, please share it with a friend. Thanks for watching today's episode, and stay tuned for more from UD Best.